Alright guys, hello. Uh, today I'm doing an unboxing of a Skull Fingerboards um, 20 pounds grab bag. Now, in the UK it's quite hard to, to fingerboards um, because we're a bit out of place. We've got, um, we don't have any like big distribu distributors of fingerboards in the UK and, and Skull Fingerboards is one, is a distributor of fingerboards and they're, they're really good boards and they're really good price so um, for me, I'm really pleased to see that this kind of surface it runs. And let's get see, see what's inside this thing. Lovely packaging, it's great. Oh wow, okay. A bunch of stuff, can you see that there? There's a lot of stuff right there. Look at that. Mm. That's good. Let's see what we got. Okay, so, to start off we've got a business card. Um, Just some nuts and bolts. Oh, and some bearing spacers, brilliant. So we've got nuts and bolts, the focuses. Nuts bolts, and then up here we've got some bearing spacers, which is really handy because I need some of them. Th three sheets of grip tape, which is really good, I need more. <clears throat> oh, three sheets of grip tape with a skull engraved in them, laser engraved in them, which is good. Uh, three, a pair of yellow well wheels, four wheels, sorry, not three. Um, <clears throat> nice. Wide chrome trucks with white bushings already in them. So, or this is looking really good for 20 quid. And here I have one complete. Um, I have a wide complete with grip tape already in it. At the back there I've got trucks, two sets of wheels. Trucks, two sets of wheels and, and tool. And everything I need. Um, which is... Awesome for 20 quid. Um, which, for 20 quid, that's amazing because, I mean, considering you got like Black River do like a deck for 50, and this is 20, and it's really, really good. It's completely painted, so the board itself is blue all the way around. There. M Monaco. Nice, it's a nice wide board, I like wide boards. Um, it's got some really nice tape actually. I do like this tape. It's really nice feeling. Uh, we got some stickers with it. Got there, you got skull finger boards. Um, <clears throat> next in the same bag you got, uh, there, here we go. Four, four white wheels, and in this little bag here, I've got two white, white trucks, are they white? Yeah, they're white, they're white, white trucks, 30 millimeters. Um, a tool, four, eight screws, eight nuts, uh, and spacers for the, uh, for the bearings, so that the bearings don't touch the trucks. I'm actually going to set this up with... Uh, the chrome trucks that I got and uh, probably just use the tape that came with the board because it's already came out of the packet but for 20 quid this is really really good I would recommend going to uh, the Skull Fingerboards website if you're in the UK or just don't have a lot of money go to Skull Fingerboard website grab a, a grab bag for 20 quid and you get a complete plus a bunch of other stuff um, <clears throat> and these are real wear graphics, I believe. So I think the more I use them, the, the more it will run out, which is like a real skateboards. M medium concave with high kicks, I, see, I think. Yes, high kicks. Very high kicks, yeah. But um, lovely board, great, great product for 20 quid. I love it. Um, also, on their website, they have 20 quids completes with. with Loads of different designs, loads of different truck combinations and wheel combination. And honestly, I would totally recommend going to their website and looking at that. Is, the website is www.skullfingerboards.com. Alright guys, so that's me actually set up the Monaco Skull Fingerboard there, as you can see. Um, with the skull engraved uh, grip tape. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Um, uh, first thing... First thing you know off, it is a wide shape, which is 
one of my favorite shapes I have I've got a couple of boards here from four corners um, here and this is the normal 30 millimeter one 29 millimeter sorry 29, 30, 30 millimeter boards and it's alright a bit too narrow for me then I've got these two this is a 32 which is identical to this one I believe and this is a 33 so this is a little bit this is my favorite board of the ones the four corner boards and this one is pretty close to it like so so yeah, they're really similar this is just a little bit shorter um also yes it is a, a real wear graphic board because I was, I was doing the grip tape um the paint came off a little bit here you can I don't know if you can see that mm. Wait for it. Uh, I don't think that'll work. Oh well. But yeah, it does come off. Um, the board is super light. Uh, and I say it's super light, and it, the light finger boards are good. Like, you don't want a heavy one. This one's really heavy. It's because the chucks and the board itself is actually heavy. This is really light. Um, and it's a good size. Like, it's not. One of those boards that are really short, like the one I just had. It's got great pop. I really do. I do enjoy this board. And it rides, like the wheels. Just... All, all four wheels stopped at the same time. Um, and so, yeah, the one problem I have though, is that the board doesn't slide a little bit too much because I don't think it's been waxed. I think it's uh, varnished, sorry. I don't think it's been varnished. So I think it's been painted straight on the boards. Whereas this board, for example, has been vanished and, 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 and kind of polished a little bit on the wood. So that it does slide really well. Um, I don't know if that's just my rail though because uh, I have had this rail for a long time. As you can see by the, kind of the wear and tear of it. But overall, this board for 20 quid is really, really, really good. Uh, and I mean, the products are amazing. I got, I got six grip tapes, seven actually, because I've got one from here. Uh, and then a whole new set setup without the board. So for 20 quid, totally worth it. And I definitely will get another one, if not a bigger bag, because um, they have more products in them. But, yeah, there we go, that sat there. So we get a kick. There we go, nolly flip. Uh, so thank you ever so much um, for watching and uh, subscribe.